Ladies and gentlemen, it has been my distinct honor as the Chair of Defense and Veterans Affairs Committee, and it's my distinct privilege today to work for our veterans and active duty service members every single day. But this morning, I'm truly humbled to introduce our Chaplain of the Day, Colonel Steve Scheich. Colonel Scheich began his distinguished career at Lackland Air Force Base in 1976 in San Antonio. My guess is his first flight, he saw the heavens in an F-15 fighter, and he never looked down. He served all over the world, from Turkey to Germany and beyond, earning distinguished medals like the Meritorious Service Medal with seven oak leaf clusters and a commendation medals in the Navy and Air Force. As command chaplain, he's a spiritual leader at Air Education and Training Command at Joint Base San Antonio. He ministers over 88,000 souls of active duty service members, reserve, guard, and civilian workers who call that base home, each who face their own challenges and struggles as they pursue their calling to serve. Colonel Scheich, those airmen are fortunate to have you by their side, but we are truly blessed to have you in this chamber today. So before I bring up the colonel, I'd like to leave you with this verse of scripture that guides me through this legislative session, and I hope it helps guide all of us as we navigate our challenges. Ephesians tells us that before, therefore put on full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes you may be able to stand your ground and after you've done everything to stand, stand firm and then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist and with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Members, please join me in welcoming our chaplain of the day, Colonel Steve Scheich. Colonel? The House and Gallery will please rise for the invocation. It is indeed a great privilege to be here this morning, and I invite you to join me as I pray. Loving God, we acknowledge that in more ways than we can know, we have been the recipients of your matchless favor. Thank you for heroes, past and present, who earned the freedoms we hold so dear. Thank you for our system of governance, which even though a bit messy at times, remains the envy of the free world. And today we give thanks for lawmakers and ask you give them wisdom to parse truth from error and hatred a deep hatred of hypocrisy and deceit. Fill them, we pray, with gentleness, patience, and moral character. And years from now, may this, the 84th legislature, be remembered for its collegiality, intellect, and judgment, and for the way it rightly acted on your spirit's leading. And may all that is done this day and in the 140 days that follow, find its end in your glory and in your honor. Amen. <laughs> 